God is our loving Father forever. He, through His Son Jesus Christ, has attested Dill Ministries International DMI as one of the most loving, exceedingly powerful mega church ministries that wipes the tears of multitudes with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healing. The blind see, deaf hear, dumb speak, lame walk, various dreadful diseases instantly disappear and all the tears of the brokenhearted are wiped away at once. Pastor John was scheduled for an operation because of the swelling and the pain that was on his wrist. He came, he said, this was so swollen and he could not flex his wrist. But during the service, the Lord touched him, the swelling went and he can flex his wrist. No swelling at all, son. No swelling at all and it went off and you can move your hand. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Lift your hand to Jesus. He loves you, son. Receive your miracle. Beatrice, receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Pastor, this is Beatrice. The Holy mm. Spirit called her name today and has given her peace. But she yes. has a testimony. For many years, since she was in school, she says she had a pain in her left arm and could not lift it like this. But ever since she has heard the word about praising Jesus, she has been praising the Lord and now she can do this Why? after many years. Look at that. Look at that. From a young age, you couldn't do it, child. It's your praises. It's your praises unto Jesus. Look at that. Look at that. Lift your hand and say, I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord at all times. Look at this living testimony. Couldn't do it from a young age. He loves you, child. Pastor, this is Kavita. She has two testimonies. Yes, child. She came in this morning. Her right eye was twitching and itching. And oh, the Lord healed her of that. Bless the and Lord. yesterday she had a throat pain. She was watching your video in which you said, keep praising Jesus. And the throat pain has disappeared. Completely. You watch the video and it's gone, child. And the right eye is fine, daughter. Who healed this blessed girl? Who healed this blessed daughter? Lift your hands and say, thank you to Jesus. Pastor, this is young Zion. He says, two days he has been having throat pain. But in the morning... He is totally healed and he's come to give the Lord all the glory. Bless all the pain is gone. Ha. All the pain is gone. Amen. Yes. Now the tone is increasing. The third time if I ask him, he'll say, I told you, he will say. Who healed you? Jesus. Look at that. Blessed be the name of Jesus. He loves you, every one of you. Every one of you, every one of you, every one of you. Go and live, he loves you. Receive your miracle. Matthew, receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Pastor Matthew has two testimonies. He mm. came with a painful right shoulder. Instantly the Lord healed him completely. And he mm. said for one month he's had anxiety because of a problem. But as his name was called, mm. instantly the Lord gave him peace completely. Peace. God called him Matthew and all the pain is gone, son. And even the peace has come, son. Perfect peace. God healed him and gave him the perfect peace. Called his name Matthew. It's all Jesus. Pastor, this is Erin. For one week, she's been having pain on her left knee. Now she says the pain is completely For one gone. week, you had it, child. You came with that pain here and it's gone. You can move your leg. You can swing your leg. You can stamp your leg. For one week, you had it. It's gone, child. Lift your, who healed is a dear girl? Who healed is a dear girl? Lift your hand to Jesus. Pastor, this is Leo. On Wednesday, when he was eating his food, something got stuck on his throat. He could not swallow anything, and they had to take him to Rashid Hospital. In the meantime, the wife and the son continued to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He testified in himself that he does not want the doctor to touch him. And three hours later, whatever was stuck, came out and he's come to thank the Lord for that. Blessed wife, blessed son. See, praising Jesus, what has happened? Lift your hand to Jesus, sir. You don't have to fear anything. It is all out of your body now. Go and live in Jesus. Jesus just told me, fallopian tubes, Jesus heals you now by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Pastor, the Holy Spirit, uh, through the Holy Spirit, you said someone with fallopian tubes is being healed today. She says three days she's been having a pain and the doctors told her there is a complication in the fallopian tubes. But as you spoke that word, the Holy Spirit came upon her with warmth and she says... You don't have it now, child. You don't have the pain now, child. You don't have the pain now. Lift your hands to Jesus. It is over. Everyone say it is over. Yes, yeah, she testifies. Go and live, child. Rejoice and praise and live, my daughter. It's done. Pastor, this is Josphat. Six months he has been having shoulder pain on his right hand. Difficulty in lifting up anything. Today morning he says that his right hand is totally healed and is rejoicing in the Lord. Can move your hand, son. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. happened today, son. It happened now, son. You know something? Who healed this loving son? This is Sylvia. She, she says as she came into the church today, she had excruciating stomach pain. She could mm. not even sit comfortably. Mm -hmm. Jesus has healed her of Completely that. gone, child. You've, you can move your body and all that, child. Completely gone. Who healed this dear girl? Who healed this dear girl? Lift your hand to Jesus. Thank you. Shall I say, my Lord, unto the Lord my Jesus, all I want to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I want to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you. The more you thank him, he will never leave you. The more you thank him, he will be more and more closer and closer and closer and closer to you as never before. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 8. Here we see a centurion coming to Jesus. He was a man, in, I will say from where... From the fifth verse to the thirteenth verse. Fifth verse to the thirteenth verse of Matthew's gospel, chapter 8. And the thirteenth verse is something the Holy Spirit wants to uh, emphasize to me and to you. Jesus told the centurion, go thy way. As thou hast believed, so be done unto thee. As thou hast believed. My loving child, Jesus has all the power. He is the son of God. Matthew 28, 18, Malachi 3, 8, my, my beloved ones, he has got all the power in heaven and earth, my loving children. He is the very power of God, risen Jesus. First, P, first Corinthians 1, 24, he is the word that became flesh, John 1, 1, John 14. He is the word of God, Revelations 19, 13. He loves you. All things were created by him, Colossians 1, 16. All things were created for him, Colossians 1, 16. And all things exist by him. Colossians 1.17 He created all things. John 1.3 He is the creator. My loving child. All things are held by the word of his power. Hebrews 1.3 My his power cannot be comprehended by a little man like me or you beloved ones. His greatness cannot be imagined, cannot be thought by a little man like me or you beloved ones. He is great far above every greatness. He is far above every power. He is the very power that brought other powers into being for his glory. My loving child. He is the son of God. Now to him comes this centurion. Now in the, this centurion was a rich man. He had a good social status. My beloved. But he had a servant who was very dear to him. Very near to him. And very loyal to him. Very honest to him. And took care of him. In every manner. And this servant came. Uh, took care. And he was now going to die. He was going to die. He had a terrible, a terrible disease. And this man could have given him some money. And said, go and find another place or go to back to your home or go and find a good physician and cure yourself. This is the money I can give you. 
I'll give you whatever money you want. Money doesn't make you live, my loving child. You and I don't live by silver and gold, nor are we saved by silver and gold, nor are we victorious by silver and gold. You and I are victorious and saved and we live by the precious blood of Jesus. First Peter 1.19, my loving child, he could have given him money. He had a lot of influence and affluence in the society. He was a rich centurion holding a good position in the Roman government. And he could have said, look, go to this man. He will help you out. No. He said, this is the time. A man who stood by me, a man who served my food, a man who looked after myself in whatever way possible. This is the time I will bless him. This is the time for me to show mercy. This is the time for me to show gratitude. My beloved ones, from Genesis to Revolution, is your gratitude and my gratitude for a God who has given us everything in Christ Jesus. Breakthrough has come. Breakthrough, see to yourself and myself, where have I not given you thanks, God? I have not thanked you enough. I have not praised you enough. I have not given you the glory enough. I am only asking and asking and asking and asking and saying, this is not done, that is not there, this is not enough. I am suffering, I am in pain. My dearest child, your God is not a superfluous superman. Your God is your father. Romans 8.15 says he's your father. Galatians 4.6 and 7 says he's your father. John 1.12 says he's your father. John 20.17 says he's your father. Oh, 1 John 3.1 says he's your father. What more doubt you need? Matthew 7.11 says he's your father. A breakthrough has come along with Christ Jesus, his only begotten son. You and I have everything victorious freely on this earth. If you are praying for breakthrough, take Romans 8.32 out of your Bible and be an honorable Christian. My loving child, it is because you have not believed, I have not believed. While we don't live by the Bible, we live by every other book on this earth, every other written paper on this earth. This is the Bible that takes eminence, preeminence and eminence and importance over all man or woman on this earth. How many of you will agree with me? He loves you. His Bible is his word. Bible is his life for you and me on this earth. But the definition of Bible is not a written, printed book, an instruction or a guideline. No, but that is the foolish man's explanation. But a Holy Spirit man's explanation is Bible is God's life for you and for me on this earth unto eternity in heaven after rapture. It's life. My word is life. John 6, 63. My word is life, my beloved. Dill Ministries International with signs, wonders, and miracles. It's bigger and faster to be connected 24-7 with the new apps, finding out the latest updates, such as Daily Life Word, Audio Gallery, Broadcast Episodes, Ministry Schedules, Praise Reports, Prayer Requests, Contact Us, and much, much more. Just simply type DMI. And remember always, God loves you forever. He loves you. Breakthrough has come for you and me. You and I have to see through what he has done and believe. You know that when the centurion came, the last verse is the important verse for me and for you. Jesus said, as how you have believed. He didn't say, I have all the power. Go. The servant liveth. My loving child, he said, go. As how you have believed. It is done unto you. Is it written there? As how you have believed. As how you have believed, I have believed. As how you have, the other side for the coin is, how, as how you have received this word. God, I receive what you have done for me. All works of the defeated hell over my life, over my family, over my health, over my finance, over my future is finished, God. I know it, I believe it, I receive it. Colossians 1.3, 1.13. 
Colossians 1.13, you and I have been delivered. Jehovah Palat has delivered you and me from the powers of defeated darkness. Psalm 144 verse 2, Colossians 1.13. What is there for you to pray for breakthrough? Be sensible. You can pray. You can pray. God loves you. He loves you. He knows how ignorant I am. He knows how unbelieving I am. He knows how, how wrong I am. But thank God, it is not what I am that makes me through. It is what I am he is that makes me through. The great I am, Exodus 3.14. The great I am, he has done it for you. He has defeated hell and Satan for you and me. We have to see through that in the Bible. We have to see through that in our own lives, our unbelief. Because we didn't praise him enough. We didn't thank him enough. We are only bent on asking and asking and asking and asking. You are asking from a father who has given everything to you and me through his son. Romans 8, 32. Read that. Everything is given freely for you and me. Isaiah 55, 1, free. Revelations 21, 6, free. It's given to you and me. My loving child, I beg of you. He loves you. Let you and I come to an understanding and a faith. Lord, I receive this. I receive this. You have defeated sin over my life. You have defeated curse over my life. You have defeated death over my life. You have defeated poverty over my life. You have defeated failures over my life. I, Lord, I see through it now. I am the one who didn't believe. I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry. I didn't praise you. I didn't thank you. I didn't lift you. I didn't honor you. I didn't give reverence to you, God. That's how I should. Romans 1, 21. Read that. Romans 1, 21. How he helps me with these references, the great one, Holy Spirit. Romans 1, 21. It is because we who call ourselves Christians, we have not thanked him. We have not praised him. And because of that, our hearts, our conscience has become darkened. Hard. Is it right there? If you don't praise him, you will become an unbeliever. Do you know that? If you are not grateful, you won't be able to believe very much, many things and you will get stagnant in life. You won't be able to believe anything that God is doing. That is why you praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him at all times. My loving child, you have to take a breath now to live tomorrow. In the same way, if you praise him now, you will live tomorrow. But because you and I didn't praise him, my beloved, we have become darkened, bitter. Sometimes we question him. Sometimes we wonder who, he, sometimes we feel, he, we feel he has let us down. We feel darkened inside. We don't want to do anything. We feel frustrated, rejected. You and I, all of us. Why? Because we have not seen through what he has done and we have not praised him through and thanked him and revered him and honored him and lifted him as how he should be. Alexander did nothing. He received that honor. Jesus did everything. How much honor he deserves. Praise him at all times. You will have light in your heart. You will feel lighter in your spirit. All the heavy burdens will go. All the heavy pressure in your lives will go. You sit and thank him. Go to a corner and sit and thank him and praise him. If you can't remember, I don't have money, I don't have family, I don't have food, I don't have hope, I am a failure. You may think of all these things, my dearest child, but he's your father. Lift him up and thank him for the blood of his son. He loves you. He loves you. No matter, no greater glory than the blood that was shed for you and me. This man said, sir. I have to show mercy. Jesus honored that. He saw a gratitude, spirit of gratitude in this man. He could have sent him off. My beloved, my loving child, he saw a spirit of gratitude in this man. He wanted to do something back to his servant. That's what my beloved why? Jesus said, I will come and heal him. Straight on response. Oh, he didn't, he didn't say, oh, he's a mere statues in his house. And, you know, I see darkness behind his window. Huh? Now, that is another. Oh, I, when I went past his house, I saw the curtain moving this way. There's a darkness. God bless these precious servants of God. My loving child. When the light comes, all darkness will go. Jesus is the light of life. 
John 8, 12. He loves you. He said, I will come. He was a heathen. He was a Gentile. He was up to anything in life. But he was a man of gratitude. That's the beginning. The beginning for your miracle is your gratitude unto God. Oh, beloved, my loving child, God, you shed your blood for a sinner like me. You loved me when I was a sinner, God. You loved me when I hated you. You loved me when I thought you were a hindrance to the pleasures of my life. How wicked, how alien I, what an alien I was, how wicked I was. Oh, my Lord, but still you chose to forgive me. My Lord, that cost your life, God. That cost your life. Your choice cost your life my God what will I not do for you I will lift the cup of salvation and proclaim you until rapture and eternal Oh, my loving child, you are bent on asking and asking and asking from a father who is the only good father on this earth and heaven because you don't know what breakthrough is today we teach you don't go back to that old prayer come back to the new prayer of heaven Praising him. Romans 1, 21. Because we didn't thank him enough. We didn't praise him enough. Our hearts become hardened. Bible says. It's a very, 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 I would say a risky place to get into. Your hearts become anything that God does. You don't, you don't accept it. Don't get into that place. That's the work of the defeated devil. He loves you. It comes to me many times, but the blood removes it. See through immediately. That's why Psalm 51 helps you. The blood of Jesus. Sometimes we all get rejected. We all want to just say, Lord, I don't want to do anything. That's the easy answer. But he loves you. He's your father. He is here to lift you up. He will never despise the prayer of a broken heart. Psalm 102, verse number 17. How the Holy Spirit is upon you and me today. Bringing all the references, whispering into my spirit. Psalm 102 verse 17. He will never despise the prayer of a broken heart. And a destitute's prayer. He loves you. What is your prayer? Not asking, but exalting. Not asking, but praising. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Be a man and a woman of gratitude. Yes. Jesus said, I will come and heal him. I will come. Jesus, that's the willingness of Jesus today in your life and my life. He saw the mercy in his heart, the gratitude in his heart. Jesus said, if you are a person always thanking Jesus, he will come and attend to everything in your life, in your home, in your family, in your health, in your finance, everywhere. You don't need, I tell you, the long prayer for this, only praises. Praises and praises and praises. Oh, thank you. You are my God. He will come. And this man said, sir, don't come, please. Please don't come. I know who you are. That's where exaltation is. You know what he told Jesus? All that uh, I'm also a man of under authority. I know what authority and power is. All that, you know, sums up to one place. He exalted how great Jesus is. My love, that's all. That's that two verses. I know the authority. I'm also a man of authority when I say, Go, go, come, come. My loving child, my dear children. All he told Jesus in, in, in to sum up in one sentence for your understanding and my understanding there was a death in his home, there was sorrow in his home, there was fear in his home, there was scarcity in his home. There was no one to make anything, no, everything. His home was virtually dry, dried up, no life. But he didn't come and elaborate the problems and explain the problems and what the doctors said. This is what the centurion said. He made him great. Sir, I know your power. You, you just say one word. That is the greatness. That is the greatness. That is the, the greatness of a person is the little he does and the much he achieves. I'm going to pray with you right now. Loving Father, I humble myself before your people and you my God my Father to you we come in the name of Jesus Christ thy only begotten son whom you raised from the dead and today made him sit at your right hand side Father and in Jesus name all power in heaven and earth and over the defeated hell is given loving Father I don't come 
on my own merit i have no merit god only the blood of jesus christ only the blood of jesus christ i come to you i humbly ask you let all the sicknesses go away let all the physical ailments go away even the defeated symptoms and the causes of the diseases go away jesus let the blind see now god jesus let the deaf hear now god jesus let the dumb speak now god jesus let the lame rise now and walk god even let the dead rise now god jesus with you all things are possible wipe the tears of any one god i thank you i have told them that you will wipe their tears today loving lord loving lord hebrews 5 verse 7 luke 7 verse 13 wipe the tears of everyone god isaiah 25 verse 8 wipe the tears of everyone my father heal all their diseases lord jesus remove every burden of their life lord let them all rise up walk live rejoice and praise you and thank you and always give you the glory i thank you for this father i thank you for this lord jesus i thank you for this holy spirit in jesus name father amen 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 jesus loves you and my books are there jesus christ heals even now jesus christ heals even now my book my latest book on rapture my beloved people everyone washed by the blood of jesus everyone who loves jesus is going to be taken up in midair very soon we are going to be raptured as we live on this earth in these coming long years we are going to go into our father's mansions he is going to come in midair to take us rapture us my latest book on rapture don't miss that and my powerful book because jesus lives you will live also because jesus lives you will live also and then streams of miracle life streams of miracle life get these books my magazines every 3 months we put out magazines signs wonders and miracles every 3 months we send them internationally and it's full of credible documented evidences of god's instant miracle healing works testimonies praise reports in our magazines you can send your request we'll get it across to you signs wonders and miracles magazines all our miracles it's increasing john 14 12 greater works greater works now until rapture it's increasing it's increasing we will send you our magazines signs wonders and miracles send us your prayer requests send us your requests we will pray with tears and you will receive your miracle we love you and more than us jesus loves you jesus loves you and you can watch us on various television channels as well jesus loves you